welcome back to another video of today. Um, I know I haven't uploaded for a little while, but today is the day. We, I mean, I show you guys how I made my channel icon. But yeah, guys, thank you for all the support on my channel. Um, I know I'm not as enthusiastic as I normally am. Uh, that's just for reasons, but. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a channel icon like mine. But first, um, what was it? Oh, yeah. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, and on this upcoming Tuesday, October 3rd, the first Italy vlog will be coming out, so make sure to smash the subscribe button, like this video from the first Italy vlog. But let's get into the tutorial. So first, you just want to go into develop, and then um, you can make a game. But I think it was yeah. I'll, I'll just make a new game. So I'm gonna choose flat terrain faceplate or another way you can do it is just open up oh wait yeah. or another way you can do this if not just go to develop if you already have roblox studio downloaded you can just up open it up and okay right now it's upgrading but Anyways, I'll be right back when it's done. Okay, it should be done by now, but if you guys are wondering why I'm not that enthusiastic, is because right now it's 8.16 in the morning, and um, I haven't eaten because I can't eat until tonight, sadly. But then you open up a base plate, and then what you want to do... We'll click test, click play, then want to click pause where your character is frozen, then workspace, then just highlight everything that's about you. And do control. Then you click on one of them, click copy, and right click on workspace and click paste into. Wait, what? No. You, you do that. What? What? Not delete. Wonder why it didn't work. Oh, uh, so you can't. So you can't click faceplate. Want to highlight everyone under the destroyer one two two three four four or just whatever your name is, except except for base plate and below and then you do copy click on workspace paste into or make a copy of yourself and then what you can do is you press stop wait what why did that not work it's supposed to work Okay, pause. Space for the four, one, two, three, three, four, four. Okay. 
copy, paste into Here guys, I'll be right back, so I'm just gonna stop this recording and- Okay guys, I'm back, but anyways, um, I kind of messed up, so you can delete that, but actually before you delete it, uh, you want to make it a model, so after you do that, you go into my models, and I already have it, so, oops, um, but anyways, you click on that arrow, I'm gonna highlight anything that is not the head. And then you can delete it. Just not the head. Oh, crap, I messed up. So, actually, you want to keep your hat on. You want to have it so then your hat's all on. Wings and the two tails, and then you have everything except for you have, you have nothing but your. So, after you got that, guys, um, you can just delete all these attachments for now. But anyway, after you got all that, you want to create a green screen. So, you want to go into the model, click art, then you'll get this. And then it says one of those home gifts. And then you want to click material, neon, and the color bright green, brightest green you could find, then you want to get scale, so then you can move it and get it the way you want to, hold on, sorry about that, oh my god, I don't care, And then after you get that, uh, you click the select tool, and you select you, your head, and you drag it to where you want it. So it may be hard to see these green areas, these two. Anyways, after you got it positioned, so. Yeah, you just want to get it positioned to where you want it to be. Okay. So, but you can't have any of the base plates showing. So, that's why I'm actually going to make this green screen a little bit. Oh, I, I was hoping that was on me. Oops. 
So you want to have it on scale. Make it get your gradient to make it however big you want. Well, I'm just going to make it this big. And then you go on to select, select the head. Just like that. And then move. Get it to the position you want it. Then you click to the side. And then if you're a Mac user and you just go to view and click screenshot and it doesn't work, there's a little speaker you can use. You go on Google, you type in how, or you can just, or you can just watch me. Honestly, I forget, but on, on Mac. So it's Shift Command Four. So you just type through this go Shift Command Four. Now it should bring up this. You drag from the picture you want to screenshot, and then it will take it. And then uh, you want to go to pixels. Uh, this is my YouTube banner, but anyways, it, you may be wondering why I have two pixels open. That's because um, I'm gonna make a team cat. Season 2. So, we'll always go to the desktop. Anyways, there you go. And, oh, I made an oopsie, guys. One thing, when you're here on head, you want to delete your face. Because it's hard to do that. On, it's hard to delete your face on here. So you go to new image. So no, you just want to exit out of that, and then you go here, Shift Command Four, take your screenshot again. And then the image from computer to your desktop. And then you take the wand tool, you highlight the background, then you choose the color you want. Say you want this blue. Click OK. Click the fill bucket. No, we'll do that. And then, how I made mine, guys, um, you just want to, so I'll start off with the glasses. So what you can do, you can just do that. And so I'll just speed through this. So yeah, that's how you get uh, that done. But then, here's the tricky part. You have to find the skin tone that's closest to your Roblox characters. So that's the tricky part. So I think that would be the case. So I'll just speed through this and Okay guys, so now you just need to find a color that's close to your hat, or if you have a hat on. Okay. So that is not even close. 
Yeah, that's a little bit closer. There we go. Now that's probably as close as I can get. So as you guys can see, it's actually starting to come out a little better. And now you can actually move your Okay, so we want to be like that. So, after you say you got it all done, I mean, if you followed every step, then you're good, but there's one more step. Um, so, I'm just going to keep those blank, but there's one more step. You take this, the red, the red rope tool. And then you just want to make this a little darker. Or that dark. No. So, ask if you want to fill it in. And then you just do that. You can even zoom on this. You can also just. Reverse it. But this is the freeway without Pixlr. I mean, what, no, I am using Pixlr. Without Photoshop, I mean. So... Yeah, that's basically the end of the tutorial. Just figure out how to get this the way you want it. Yeah. So, I'll just probably speed through the rest of me doing this. Yeah. Mm. So guys, it is okay if you mess up, but that's how I made mine. Hopefully this t tutorial was okay for you guys as my first tutorial. Um, but anyways, what I need to do next is hit save and then make it your YouTube logo. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. Love you all. See you all in the next one. Adios.